We're in Jasper Active, Word 2019. We're going to work on Lesson 2, Working with Text. So if this is the first time you've done it, go ahead and click on Learn. Otherwise, click on the Practice button. All right, we see we have two steps here. The first is to insert a special character. So we're going to open the memo on using link um, from our Jasper Active Resource Files folder, or I'm just going to use the shortcut and double click it from the bottom of my instruction panel. We're going to click at the end of the word Microsoft in the paragraph that starts with David Singh has. So I'm going through here and I'm looking for a paragraph that starts with David Singh has. And then I'm going to find the word Microsoft, and I'm going to put my cursor right at the end of that word. And it wants me to type parentheses R parentheses. So remember, anytime Jasper Active asks you to type something, you're going to type what's in the bold exactly as it's written. So Shift 9, I'm going to do a Shift R for a capital R, and then Shift 0. And what you'll notice is that suddenly has changed, and now I have a little symbol down here. All right, that's our registered trademark symbol. We're now going to click at the end of the word Microsoft in the next paragraph that starts with David will send. Let me zoom out for you. Here it is, David will send. Here's our Microsoft. Put my cursor right at the end right there. And we're going to insert another symbol, but we're going to do this a different way. So this time we're going to go to the Insert tab. And then we're going to go down to the Symbols group. So remember, most of the time our group names are on the bottom of the ribbon here. But occasionally when our screen is condensed, we're going to see them a little bit higher. So here, here's my Symbols group. I'm going to click that drop down. And then I'm going to click the Symbol option. When it opens up, I want to click more symbols down here at the bottom, and that's going to open up a dialog box for me. It says to click the special characters tab and select that registered trademark symbol from the list. The special characters tab is right here, and I'll just scroll down until I find it. It's not very far down. I'll select that. You're going to see here there's also a shortcut key for this as well. So there's many ways to do the same thing in Word with almost everything. All right, but I'm going to select Registered, and then I'm going to click the Insert button. And then I can click Close. And so now we're going to see there's that Registered Trademark button right there. So we've got it in two different ways. So one with um, a keyboard shortcut. Well, not a keyboard shortcut, but a text shortcut, and then one over here using the Insert tab. We're going to mark that as Answered and go to Step 2. So this time we're going to double-click the word Link in the first paragraph, and then type Skype for Business as the replacement text. So back up to our first paragraph. I'm going to double-click the word Link, and then I can just type Skype business. So I'm paying attention to what text is in bold here. I'm looking at spelling and at capitalization. So I got that typed in just like that. The next thing it wants me to do is select the text Microsoft Office 365 Portal and then type SharePoint Team Site. So down in this next paragraph here it says Microsoft Office 365 Portal. So I'll select all of that text. I just clicked and dragged because it's all consecutive. And I'm not hitting the, ba the backspace key or the de delete key. I'm just typing right over it, paying attention to capitalization. I'm typing SharePoint Team Site. Step three wants us to click the arrow for the undo button and select the top two options. So we're going to go up to our quick access toolbar up here. Here's our undo button, and you can see there's a little drop down arrow right next to it. 
And if I click on it, it's going to show me a lot of options. So these are all of the functions that I have done so far. I want to select the top two. When I click on it, it's going to remove the two last things that I've done. So essentially undoing the two last things that I did. So now we're back to link. On the quick access toolbar, we're going to click redo twice to have Word reverse the undo action. So once we've undone something, we get a redo button so we can put it right back in. I'm going to click it once, going to click it twice. Now you see that those two change right back to where they were. That's all we need to do for that step. So mark is answered and submit. Submit results. And ta-da! Return to Jasper Active.